Greetings everyone. Walking around my neighborhood. Decided to go for a walk over to an old shopping district today. It's Sunday, the 1st of August, 2021. And, um, phew, man, holy crap, is it hot. Uh, I gotta get some sort of decent hat. I have a baseball cap, but that's really not enough. Anyway, I'm uh, not projecting too far, sorry. So that should be better. And uh, I need to get out and get some exercise. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of work to do, but I don't feel very creative uh, yesterday and today because I'm exhausted from creating all those lectures and giving all those lectures, which was really fun. So I went shopping yesterday in downtown Tokyo, right by Tokyo Station. And uh, oh, look, a little street, so cool. It's my neighborhood is so great, Nezu. Um, so I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna walk by a bunch of temples and uh, uh, I've already visited part of this area, but I haven't gone farther. So uh, I forget the name of it. Ta, ta, to, oh, I have to look it up, I'm sorry. So I just go and see, you know, it's really cool. And there's a pleasant breeze blowing as you can see from my hair, which is nice, but it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's in a 90 Fahrenheit already. Holy crap. Walk in, there's a lovely little garden area with tomatoes, okra, everything else. A lot of fresh vegetables here in Japan. It's great. So cool to see all this. Look at this lovely little house. There's several of them in this neighborhood. Survived the uh, progress of larger buildings. Beautifully decorated. Nice garden. Okay. Okay, let's go for a walk. You are my uh, company today. Those of you who think that this has been a picnic, being here, guess again. It's freaking difficult as all hell. In a pandemic, can't really socialize. Hot as all hell. I have a job to do. I'm grateful to explore Japan, because I've been doing it completely on my own, basically. The shade is pretty, pretty hot. Fortunately for the little bitty breeze, it makes it easier. But. I'm dealing and exploring. Ah, I need another haircut already. Oh, dreadful. Bye. My mistake, I have been down this road before. I forgot. Quickly, while there are no people. You know how I remember? Right here. Where is the move? And voila. C'est la rue des Arts. Well, this is a nice little discovery. Take a trip down a long road in your neighborhood and look what you find. I assume it's a temple. But it looks a bit Buddhist. Quite pretty. A nice look. So that was a nice little walk. I know where I am now. Uh, I came the back way to. Uh, this lovely temple that I visited before and um, this temple complex is gorgeous it's the west end of Ueno Park and as you can see in a moment here there again it's uh oh I look so pink don't I oh my goodness um it is where the battle of Ueno took place and that was the battle that happened at the beginning of the Meiji period between the Imperial troops and the last Shogunate. The Shogunate's troops having typical Shogun style weaponry and the Imperial troops having Western style guns. And um, it's an interesting time period in Japanese history, for sure. Things changed, but not. Uh, I'll explain that interesting observation that I have of the cultural system here some other time period. I get such joy out of coming to these kinds of historical temples. One of the things that impresses me here is the size of these pine trees. It's got to be at least a hundred years old. They're huge. 
wonderful. As is often the case with me, my original plan deviated just because, well, I saw something interesting and I decided to go for it. So I'm now walking through the main uh, cemetery area of the, what is it, Cato City near Nasal, I think. It's old, impressive, very typical Japanese Buddhist oriented cemetery. Well, I'll just sit here in the shade for a minute. I forgot to put sunscreen on the tip of me bald spot up here. Oh God, I gotta put a hat on soon. Whew, I'm drenched, everybody's drenched. Okay, so here we are. Get back to you soon. <laughs> ah. Okay, I had to put some armor on this hat. Oof, it is hot. And I'm in the part of the cemetery that's not far from the Sh Shogunate's family's uh, burial sites. And it's quite an interesting area. I don't know, I go to these grave sites at home as well. Um, my friend Danny, Danny Buck loves to go to them. It's interesting. Of course, it takes me forever to translate anything, but um, that's okay. So I'm going to find somewhere to cross over and get out of this ungodly sun and heat. I don't know. This heat is bad, but the sun is intense, and I don't remember sun being so intense in Japan. But what do I know? I think you can see that in the background towering over the great cemetery here. The cemetery was built quite some time ago. Okay, I'm being a stupid tourist, but who cares? Because I am. And it is like unbelievably hot here. But Ah, oh, air conditioner from the stores, just like in Hawaii, just blow right out. Some really cool shops. And, uh, yeah, lots of interesting sights. Be nice. I don't know if you can hear me, but I said lots of interesting sights. <laughs> okay, so I'm moving along here down this lovely region. Okay, I'm all covered up here from the sun. Now, uh, moving backwards a little bit. Plans, but it's too hot. All these wonderful bread shops and donut shops. Don't I wish I could eat some? I've cheated a little since I've been here and I've paid for it. So I gotta be really careful now. Walking up here, I'll take my mask off for a minute. Screw it. It's bloody hot. It's now 91 degrees here. So, um, yeah, Tokyo in the summertime. And uh, as you can see, I'm walking up the steps here. So, more soon. Bye. So I've fallen in love with rice crackers, as you might have seen before. So I'm now at this little area here. Um, the store where all the crackers are being made, homemade. Matcha, sugar, um, I got one coated with peanuts. Uh, oh my God, it's incredible. Um, well, you can see in the background briefly, they're actually making them right here in the store. And I'll see if I can go get a picture on the other side. Of course, it's, again, dreadfully hot. Making them right here. As I film, right in the background there. See if we can zoom in. Sometimes you do see the oddest of things here in Japan. I suppose anywhere in the world. Oh, 
Well, am I pink or am I red? Whew, oh my God. Oh, yes, the eyes are blue. I can see that with my glasses on. And I am home in my apartment. Um, what time is it? Let me check. Let's see, can I roughly say yes, 1 p.m. Uh, I don't know, what time did I leave? For 10-ish, something like that? It was a nice walk. I really enjoyed looking around. Uh, but it's now 94 degrees Fahrenheit, and I don't know what's up, but this sun is like brutal. Um, Ta-da! Really bright out. It's been that way uh, off and on since the rainy season stopped. Like, intense heat. Uh, the humidity is only 66%, which is not that bad for Tokyo. So, I don't know what's going on, but it's very unpleasant, so... There are so few people on the street now because it is just ridiculously hot. Of course, COVID too. So we have a pandemic and then we have this day after day after day of heat wave. Oh, so tomorrow back to my office and my routine. I'll probably work at home this afternoon. I don't think I'll go to the office. I'm not gonna go walking around and exploring anymore. I am done now for a little lunch oh, and a long cold shower because I'm completely just soaked right straight through Ugh. okay i'll put this together as a movie and you'll be seeing it so stay tuned for more of uh harry's adventure in nezu hmm professor connolly in tokyo hmm harold z connolly jr and explore space time in the human experience <gasps> there you go <laughs> okay bye bye everyone.